Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty 786-09-11 in color from Fort Clark Springs, Texas at my new, to me, tiny home. A little under 400 square feet of living area. And now, as promised, I'm going to show you the kitchen. Remember the electrical? Well, that's it right there. So we're going to go down this long hallway, two steps, into the kitchen. And I'll tell you a little about it first, and then we'll I'll show you. That is a Bissell vacuum cleaner. Muy bueno. Very good. And this is a, I think it's like a 12.9 cubic foot refrigerator. Of course, there's a long table there. But when I bought the place, in this section right here was a big four burner electric range oven, all that stuff right there. And then right over here was an 18 cubic foot refrigerator, an old one. Both of them were old, probably 15 years old. <clears throat> and I didn't need them, either one of them. So that's why they're both gone. And now I have a like a 12.9 cubic foot refrigerator, which works great for me. And then I put this table in there, which fortunately was just the perfect width to fit under that opening where apparently at one time they probably had a, a dishwasher. Well, I'm the dishwasher here and I've only got one dish, so it's not a big deal. So yeah, that works perfectly. That is a popcorn popper. Behind that is a toaster, two, bar, uh, two uh, slice toaster, and that is a... Uh, I never can remember the name of it. It's a pressure cooker. It's called a... I'll tell you in a minute. And that's all my spice. That's a spice rack. And then up above, all these cabinets across here, all of them had doors, okay? But I took all the doors off. Why? Because it's my place and I do me. And so now I can see everything and I know what I've got in inventory as far as foods, etc. And then, of course, under that table, over on this side over here, I got a little beer storage, a little wine storage, trash can, and some more storage over there for tools, etc., which comes in very handy. And that's just a plain old folding table. You know what I mean? Nothing fancy pantsy about that. What is the name of this damn thing? It is a it is a instant pot. It is an instant pot three quarter, I think, or six quart. I can't remember. It's a small one. And uh, anyway, I also use a Brita uh, filter, the pitcher filter right there. And so those are some of those Brita filters. And then what else can I tell you? Uh, as far as lighting, I've got all kind of ways to light it up. <clears throat> These things here, these little electric bulbs, just screw into a deal, and then you can put them up anywhere you want them. See, like that, and they put out a hell of a lot of light, but uh, I don't use them. I just need the one that I'll show you in a minute, but I'll leave that one on just for a second so you can see a little better. And what else? I also added a new, some new hardware there, and I, there, this was leaking underneath, but I fixed those leaks. Uh, the reason that sticks there is because that window uh doesn't stay up sometimes it kind of it gradually just comes down 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 so that holds it up it just happened to be here and then we've got a window ac here in the kitchen and that light doesn't work that's actually an led light and they're <laughs> hell with it you know i've got another one right above me but anyway and those are my pot holders i added that and then a little calendar and this is something somebody sent me about case at all said oh you remember the song doris day i think and then this is my main cooking equipment over here in addition to the instant pot is this a little electric oven this is a black and decker thing and it's also an air fryer and all kind of stuff you can toast bread in there and it really works good i mean i uh, whenever i want to heat something like you would normally do in a microwave i just put it in this thing on air fry for about mm, five minutes or so and it's pretty well done now it's got and it's deep you know what i mean it goes way way back in there you know what i mean you can actually put a big item in here and then on top, I've got this two burner thing here. And boy, this th these things work. They're, and I think that was like 30 bucks for the two burner. I don't, they probably don't last too long. I don't know. These are doing fine right now. But I always leave them unplugged. And I just use them one at a time anyway. And then this is uh, for the dishes. I mean, excuse me, knives, forks, spoons. And then there's some storage for pots and pans and stuff. And that is just a temperature gauge. Shows it's about 68 in here right now. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, it's functional. It's for me. You know, this is my home. I'm one man, one person. I don't have a family of ten or whatever, and uh, so this works great for me. And um, so that's about it for the kitchen. Now over here, I've got a little a little aluminum stand with some electrical stuff that I, I took out of the Class C that I'd accumulated over the years, and that's a little electric heater that'll more than heat this room, believe it or not. And uh, even at the 40 degrees outside, if it gets down to 20, it might be a little weak. But yeah, so I've got some extension cards and an inverter and, and that thing there, that, uh, uh, what do you call it? 
it's a surge protector. I'm good at words, aren't I? And then here is the most important item. I haven't seen a single fly, but I'm ready. <laughs> By God. And this is my main light right here. I did all this electrical work myself. What you have to do, it's really difficult. You plug it into the wall there, run the wire over here like this, and put your uh, tack there, and then bring it down and get you some uh, clear tape like I've got here to hold that switch on. And then you do a loop like this back up over this, over where the fly swatter is hanging, and then over here to another tack which holds the light that lights up the whole kitchen. And here's your switch. Ding, 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 ding. Does it work? Hell yeah. That's all I need, man. I don't need a, I don't need a lot of bright lights. You know, I mean, that one there, I just put it up for, for the show now. But I've got, uh, I think I've got three or four of those. I mean, I, I, you haven't used any of them, but I got them. <laughs> so anyway, as far as the popcorn, got that popping thing right there, the air popper. And yeah, so we're good. And that's the Kasori water boiler there for my breakfast in the morning because you know the oatmeal chia seeds and flax seeds and all that stuff i mix together for my breakfast and then add a banana and stuff and the uh, yogurt oikos o-i-k-o-s oikos yogurt and yeah that's my little breakfast spot right there that's where i fix my breakfast in the morning and then for my lunch if i want to heat something up or cook it i do it there and then if i really want to do some cooking i do the instant pot stuff i mean i can cook you know, I can cook a roast in there. I can cook stew. Uh, I can cook uh, chicken. I can cook anything in that instant pot. You know, baked potatoes and stuff like that. So that's everything I need. And if uh, every now and then, occasionally, I'll go get a pizza and eat out. I'm human. And uh, so, yeah. But yeah, this this little, let me tell you, if you're going to get you a, a, a vacuum cleaner, that Bissell, I don't know what brand or model, I mean, what model it is, but boy, that thing will suck paint off the wall, man. I'm telling you, uh, it's pretty damn good. Uh, so with that in mind, this is Rusty's Tiny Home Kitchen, uh, January, excuse me, December 28th, 2021, and uh, it'll probably look like this December the 28th, 2022. <laughs> Maybe a little dusty, but it'll still be here. Anyway, guys, with that in mind, what else can I tell you? I showed you the electrical work I did. I showed you all my appliances, appliances, ding, 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 and then Kasori, and then this thing over here for the you know, for baking and you could you can cook in that. I mean, that's a full cooker there. Whatever you want to do, and then those two things on the top. You know what those are? Those are just burners for uh, you know boiling water or whatever you want to do. And, and even though I've already got a water boiler, but anyway, enough said about that, guys. And then I got me a rug, nice little rug right there. Fits perfectly, works fine. Keeps my little feet off that cold linoleum floor. This is the only room that doesn't have well, it's the bathroom and the kitchen don't have carpet. But anyway, having said that, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. Yeah, I got my thumb in it and it didn't focus, so I had to find another spot maybe to focus on. Anyway, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you choose. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, keep your health. Stand guard at the door of your mind because, man, the world is constantly coming at you. So anyway, guys, enjoy your life. Enjoy your home, whatever it happens to be. I don't care if it's a tent or you're under a bridge. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.